Welcome to Allergy and Asthma Network's Patient Learning Pathways series. Today, we're going to look at how to treat eczema, also called atopic dermatitis. Eczema is a chronic, non-contagious skin disease resulting from inflammation. Eczema is more common and sometimes more severe in Black and Hispanic Latino patients, especially children. Talk with your doctor about medications if moisturizers and lifestyle changes are not helping you manage your eczema. There are two kinds of eczema medications, topical medications that you put on your skin and pills or injections that work from inside the body to treat eczema. Several types of topical medications are available. Topical corticosteroids help control inflammation and itching. They are applied to the skin one to two times per day. They can be used by adults and children, including infants as young as three months old. Topical corticosteroids side effects can include an intensified rash, skin thinning, stretch marks, or spider veins. Topical corticosteroids used for a long time can lead to a dependence on them. This can lead to worsened symptoms when the medication is stopped. Calcinerin inhibitors are topical medications that control inflammation and itching. These are used when topical corticosteroids do not work or are not recommended. Calcinerin inhibitors are applied one to two times per day. They are approved for adults and children ages two and older. Crisoboral ointment, 2%, is topical medication that controls inflammation, itch, and rash from mild to moderate eczema. Crisoboral 2% is applied two times per day. It is approved for adults and children three months of age and older. Janus kinase inhibitors, or JAK inhibitors, are used for the short-term treatment of mild to moderate atopic dermatitis. They are approved for children ages 12 and older and adults. JAK inhibitors are available as a topical and as pills to relieve itching and inflammation, reduce skin thickness and scaling, and promote clear skin. Topical JAK inhibitors are applied two times per day. They should not be used on more than 20% of the body at one time. Side effects from topical JAK inhibitors may include nose and throat pain or swelling, mild nausea, bronchitis, including cough, diarrhea, ear infection, headaches, hives, or tonsillitis. JAK inhibitors can also be given in pill form. They are taken once per day to treat moderate to severe atopic dermatitis. JAK inhibitors in pill form are approved for adults and children 12 years of age or older. They are prescribed to patients whose eczema is not well controlled by other pills or injections. Side effects of JAK inhibitor pills can be serious. They may include an increased risk of heart-related events, thrombosis, cancer, or high blood pressure. Other side effects of JAK inhibitor pills may include common cold and sinus infections, shortness of breath, chest pain or pressure, nausea, headache, cold sweat, lightheadedness, or slurred speech. Your doctor may recommend an injectable medication called a biologic to treat moderate to severe eczema. One of these medications is dupilumab. It is injected under the skin every two weeks. Dupilumab is approved for adults and children ages six months and older. Dupilumab side effects may include redness or itching at the injection site, eye swelling, an allergic reaction, cold sores, joint pain, mouth and throat pain, or difficulty sleeping. 
Oral corticosteroids are a daily pill you may be prescribed to treat a flare-up. Injectable corticosteroids are given at the doctor's office. Oral and injectable corticosteroids should not be used long-term because they can cause severe side effects. Oral or injectable corticosteroid side effects may include decrease in bone density, high blood sugar, and onset of diabetes, cardiovascular problems, eye problems, increased risk of infection, weakened muscles, weight gain, sleep problems, mood swings or behavior changes, Cushing syndrome or slowed growth in children. Sometimes antibiotic pills or creams may be prescribed to help fight a skin infection resulting from eczema. Eczema medications vary in cost Talk with your doctor about what is affordable for you and what is covered by your insurance. Work with your doctor, your pharmacist, and insurance company to help ensure access to medications. Join us for another Learning Pathways presentation. Allergy and Asthma Network is working every day to end the needless death and suffering due to asthma, allergies, and related conditions through outreach, education, advocacy, and research. <laughs>